Hi guys. Welcome back to Robertson's Belly Acres. Welcome, welcome. So a company named Sacker reached out to us. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Sacker, Soccer. Saker. Saker. Reached out to us and they wanted us to review their mini electric chainsaw. You guys, when they said a mini they, electric chainsaw, I wasn't expecting it. I wasn't expecting this mini. <laughs> it's so cute. And I don't mean manny, I mean mini. <laughs> It's very, very cute. It comes with, are you ready? <laughs> One mini chainsaw. How cute is this? It's a little 20 volt, very, very light. I like it already. It's got the spring loaded Look at how guard. Little that little thing. <laughs> <laughs> it comes with one battery, mm -hmm. one 20 volt rechargeable battery. They provide the charger. Now here's what I thought was kind of interesting. They do send the bar oil, which is awesome. A small wrench for changing and tightening the blade. Or what I thought was really kind of cool, they even sent a small screwdriver. That way you don't have to go dig into one it's right there in the box. So, yeah, it's got everything we need. We have already charged the battery. Rachel has installed the battery already. <laughs> it's just a plug like and play, that. flips on like on a drill. Okay. Oh, it goes fast. It goes fast. <laughs> it could be Clark W. Griswold. This side of it. Yeah. Looney man. <laughs> yeah. So we had to decide <coughs> what we were cutting down. Yes. So <laughs> we're going to be working on our house this spring and some this winter and I'm going into spring. So we've got to replace a bunch of siding. And when we're to do that, we need to get rid of a couple holly bushes that are in front of the house that are pretty janky anyway. So we're going to go ahead and get rid of those. Use this or test it out on cutting those down. So it does come with a little warning here, a couple of warnings, so I'll read those. So this one just says it's a note more than a warning and it says, do not cut wood which is more than four inches. Do not overpress the machine when cutting wood. When the machine is not used for a long time, please fully charge it and then store it. And then your caution over here is uh, no use by miners. Uh, do not touch. That's kind of prejudice, isn't it? The miners can't use it. <laughs> oh, you're talking about age miners. Age. Okay, I'm thinking good. I thought the same thing, and I thought, here we go. <laughs> okay, it is forbidden to con contact any part of the human body with the chain under the working state; otherwise, it will be injured. Okay. Death or injury could result. Mini electric chainsaw. Chainsaw speed. 780R per minute. What is that? Revolutions per minute. Guide plate length is 240 millimeters and it is a 20 volt. All right. So shall, so, we, shall we check it out? I'm gonna go ahead and put my long sleeve shirt back on <laughs> and get my sunglasses for safety. Oh, safety. I do not have my leather gloves. I cannot find my leather gloves. So we're just gonna wing it. Let's check it out. Let's go. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and cut these out. We're gonna start off small. Ooh, fancy. Cut through that pretty easy. Like I said, but that's pretty small stuff, so. short work of that. Yeah, we got that out of there pretty easy. So I'll go ahead and trim these last couple off. And that is going to be pushing four inches, but we're going to try it. You have to run it right hand because it's only got the one safety button for the trigger. So it's got to be a, a right-handed tool. I break it over. Alright, so rest 
Rusty got one, I get one. Right? Yeah. Okay, so here we go. I know that the warning says not anything more than four inches. Would it be Robertson's Belly Acres without testing the limits? I mean, in order to give a good review, I have to know what it's gonna do. So we're gonna go ahead and cut this stump, see if we can get it cut off flush to the ground. That way we don't have to worry about tripping over it whenever we do the siding. I'm to cut it down. There just a little bit. Let's go back in here. Let's flip over. On this other side. Does not cut rock, <laughs> but guys, that, that's pretty impressive. Even grinding against that rock like I did, that still cut pretty good. Okay, so I think that this would be good for somebody that doesn't have a lot of upper body strength. Mm -hmm. Maybe your senior citizens. I know I think it'd be a good one for my dad. Yes, or for my mom. Yes. Yeah, definitely. Um, if you know, like Rusty was saying, if that, you know, you got some pruning to do and it's a little bit more than um, just regular pruning or, you know, you don't have that upper body strength to use the, um, the loppers. The loppers. Well, then, you know, you've got this little cordless um, chainsaw. I think it'd be awesome. Yeah, and it doesn't take up very much room. Mm -hmm. I mean, I. Yeah, and if you're thinking about that, this is not hard to push. You know, sometimes your safeties are kind of hard to push but and i have really small hands so i mean it fits i can i can reach both i can reach that and and pull the trigger without too much of an issue and yeah. i have really small hands so she um, got girl hands <laughs> <laughs> so i mean i think i have worse than girl hands i have short girl hands <laughs> if you know you know so um yeah i think that sorry that's okay <laughs> i was looking at it i mean i i would definitely recommend this um i don't know how much we would use it around here i don't know i i think if you're a hunter oh it's you know, yeah it'd be ideal to go out and clear a path you know clear your your eye line of vision path mm -hmm. your clearings right if you have a go bag it doesn't take up much space at all you right. could put it in a go bag for sure um carry it with you it might be something good to just kind of carry in your vehicle too if you are you know drive out in the country a lot yeah, like so a, if you live in the country or something gonna go fishing or something and you've got a little limb down in the road or i really want to fish in that spot there's a couple limbs there yeah Whack them I mean, right down. I mean, you wouldn't be able to cut a tree down in the road, but you would be able to, you know, just kind of clear a space, clear a spot for it, yeah. a clear spot as you're walking. Or if you're just, um, you know, exploring and you want to clear land, um, I think 
I think, I think it's, that'd be good. Yeah. yeah. So or a clear path, I guess, is what I want to say. Clear right. path, not land, but <laughs> clear path. So on a scale of one to ten, Rachel's one being would never buy it, wouldn't recommend it, and a ten being you could see us using it regular basis, recommend buying it. What What's your thoughts? So if I'm being real honest, um, I would probably give it an eight. I think. Let me let me rephrase that. For as light as it is and as well as it works, I would give it a 10. Small, light, compact, works great. Fair enough. 10. Um, if you're kind of saying, would we use it on a daily? No, we right. wouldn't use it on a daily. I don't know anybody that would use a chainsaw on the daily, but you know what I'm saying. <laughs> um, but I think it is a really handy tool that we need to put in the truck and have with us when we are going uh, fishing and um, you know all of well, those even go things. visit our parents yeah your mom might have something we need to cut or my yeah. mom and dad yeah. you know that that's mm -hmm. the thing and I agree with you on the on the way you rated that as far as the the way it's built the light how light it is uh, it's compact I would I would give it a 10 yeah that's a 10 out of 10 there that's an amazing little tool mm -hmm. as far as us having it and using it regularly I I can't say I'd use it daily, but I can see me going to grab it handy. Mm -hmm. uh, probably an, an eight or nine, mm -hmm. you know, because like I say, I, it'll store in my SUV really nice. I can put it in the side compartment. Don't have to worry about it. Keep the battery charged up before you store it and mm -hmm. go with it. So the battery is very easy to remove. You just push like, you know, normal. You push that little button and then you just pull it. And so... Um, and then it doesn't have a battery, um, it doesn't have a big base type charger. It's just right. got a cord. It just has a cord that plugs in right there. And, um, yeah. I, mean, I can't wait to really get to using it and test it and see how long that battery lasts. I know the 20 volt tools that we do have already, the batteries last really well on them. So mm -hmm. it'll yeah. be interesting to see. I am so glad that uh, Saker or Sacker, or, I'm sorry, we're saying the name wrong, uh, sent this to us um, to, to try out because I think it is, it's really cool and yes, very it, cute. <laughs> it is really cool. And, and I would be interested to see any other tools that they have because as well as this is built, I mean, with the battery on it, look at that. I mean, that that's pretty... Pretty well balanced right there. I mean, two fingers, and I've got it balanced up there. Mm -hmm. It's really light, and I like that too. Yes. So, yeah. I don't know, guys. You might want to check that out. Uh, check out Saker. Uh, we are not getting any kind of... Um, We're not paid for this. Yeah, We're just doing a review. For it. We're just doing a review. I'm not even real sure where you need to go to, to buy it. You can probably just Google it. Saker um, mini Saker chainsaw. Saker mini chainsaw. Yeah, cordless mini chainsaw or 20 volt chainsaw. And you'd probably come around to it um, pretty easy that way. But I mean, man, too bad we didn't do this review before Christmas. That would have been a great little Christmas gift for somebody. Yeah, it would have. Yeah. For me. <laughs> Add this one to the arsenal. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. You have a, a hammer collection. You're going to get a mini chainsaw collection. Ooh. <laughs> hint, hint. All right, you guys. I hope you like our videos. If you do, please hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Yep, share with your friends. You guys, leave us some comments. Let us know what you think about this mini chainsaw. But most of all, don't forget to smash that bell and get notified of the next new video when it comes out. Yep, until next time, you guys. God bless. See ya.